Number 16. A bank's loan officer rates applicants for credit. The ratings are normally distributed with the mean of 200 and a standard deviation of 50. What is the 60th percentile? Okay, so the problem says normally distributed. So they're giving us the mean and standard deviation for a normal distribution. So the mean in this case is mu. So mu is equal to 200. And the standard deviation is 50. The symbol for that is sigma. So sigma is 50. And it wants the 60th percentile, so p sub 60. So the 60th percentile is the number such that 60% of the area under the curve is to the left, right? So 60% is going to be over here. It's always to the left, right? So if it was like P52, then 52% is to the left. If it's P7, then 7% is to the left, etc. So this area here is 0 0.60. So what we'll do now is we'll go to StackCrunch to get the answer. So in StackCrunch, you go to Stat, Calculators, and then you go to Normal. Then you left click, and then just enter the mean and standard deviation. So in this case, the mean was 200, and the standard deviation was 50. And we want the P60. So they're giving us the area. So the area goes in the second box, you see. Then when you click Compute, the answer will appear in this box here. Let's try it. Yep, 213 if we round. So 213, that's the value for P60. So this number here is 213. So roughly 60% of the curve is to the left of 213. So again, whenever you're finding percentiles, just take the, the number and put it in the second box. So for P60, it's 60%, so 0.6. If it was P8, it would be 8%, right? So that would be 0 0.08. And you would put the 0 0.08 in the second box, and you would just pick less than. And is that one of the choices? Well, 212.7, so let me go back to StackCrunch. So 212.7, yeah, that's the same thing, right? 212.7 is the same as 213, right? That's the same thing we got, 212.7 if you round. The answer here would be choice B. That's it.